Hi ladies, I probably look totally ridiculous right now, but it's for a point. <laughs> So, I am on here today to do a collab with my friend Stacy Riles. I will leave her link down below. If you are not already subscribed to her, please so subscribe to her. She is flipping amazing. And if you're from her channel, hi! My name is Brittany. If you did not already see, we did a swap a few months ago. Um, I'm the same person, so hi! <laughs> anyway, um... I am super excited to do this video today. I have created a dual Halloween look uh, that is good versus evil, almost. Oh, so let's do that. I like that. I like that. I just thought of that. <laughs> so it's like good versus evil and uh, kind of really simple to look, really drugstore efficient, um, just a few... Um, high end but I got it kind of drugstore prices so if you noticed in my last video which I will link down below um, that I found uh, a awesome 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 thing at Marshall's the love Too face uh, you can get this for $16 um, instead of 45 to 50 dollars Hello! <laughs> so I did use two shades in that palette, but I mostly use drugstore products uh, for these looks. So this is Belle. And then this is Mal from Descendants. So uh, Disney Channel, if you've seen the movie. Um, So those are the two looks that I created, and it's pretty crazy, pretty ridiculous to look like this right now, but hey, <laughs> it's going to pass off. So anyway, let me put my glasses on so I can see you again. Okay, so yes, I used the Too Faced Love palette, and uh, for Belle, I used this, purp or this uh, gold shade, and then for Mal, I used the green shade and this pink shade in the middle. Uh... For uh, the Belle look, I went into this Wet n Wild and this yellow right here. And this is Art in the Streets. And then for Mal, I went into Floral Values and used this pink and this purple. Also for Mal, I went back in and used this for a blush, this purple, this matte purple right here. And... Um, I also did kind of pink it up on Mal's side with my Hot Mama uh, that I got in my Ipsy bag. I used for my lips on Belle side, I used my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable in Lovesick. I used the bron same bronzer for both sides, NYC Smoothing and Sunny. And then for Mal's lipstick, I used my Noah Purple Plum Color. And I used, um, on Bell's side, I used my Maybelline Fit Me uh, in light pink blush. Um, for the foundation, I used, on both sides, I used my Maybelline Fit Me in 110. And then, of course, I primed my face with my In Transient Camera Close-Up Primer. Um, for a base on both sides, kind of like to, to enhance the color, I used my NY, or NYC, NYX NYX in Milk. The jumbo uh, pencil, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I did use these little adhesive uh, gemstone things that I found at Walmart. Here's like the package. Um, they were like 97 cents. So are you kidding me? You cannot pass that up. So anyway, I hope you ladies enjoy the video, and I'm so excited. Her. Alice look looks amazing, and she already looks like Alice. So. She blows my mind with the stuff that she created, and I, I can't even pull off wearing blue eyeshadow. Are you kidding me? So I'm super excited for you ladies to go see her video. I will leave a link down below, so make sure you go check that out and go subscribe to her. And if you're from my or if you're coming from her channel, I hope you ladies enjoy my video and my part of the collab. I do not crazy looks like this, but I do fun drugstore, um, I'll tell you secrets that I find, I also have, uh, an Ipsy bag, I have the Walmart box that I do each month, um, I do follow me around sometimes, I do some DIYs, 
Uh, Wednesday was a DIY that I did with my pumpkins. I will leave that link down below. And I, I, I do fun little things like this. So you guys should totally check out all my videos and hit subscribe so you can be notified when I post new videos. I post Monday and Friday. Wednesday is kind of like a bonus video. So if there's anything on Wednesday, it's bonus. <laughs> all right. So stay tuned for these looks. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do the bell side of my face. So, bell. It's going to go on this side with the hair. Got the hair all done. Anyway, okay. <clears throat> so, we're going to use... Uh, I've already primed my face with my... I didn't grab it. My in translucent, in transit camera close-up primer. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to use my NYX just to kind of create a base, a nice sticky base. And it kind of also does make your colors kind of pop just a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into uh, uh, this Wet n Wild palette right here. Uh, it is Art in the Streets, and we're going to use this yellow color straight out of it. So... And we're going to use the sponge applicator that comes with it to pack on that color. Because it does have some fallout. And we're going to pretty much pack this all over the lid. Kind of focusing it in the inner corner as well. Just so you have that mostly color. like so. And now you're going to take a regular uh, flat eyeshadow brush and we're going to go into the uh, uh, Too Faced Love Palette. Holy crap, I cannot speak this morning. And we're going to go into this really pretty yellowy gold shimmery color. And we're pretty much just using this for the shimmer. And you're just going to pack that on the inner corner. just using it for the shimmer and for like to have that yellow be a little bit of a gold um, accent so so far so far so good <laughs> all right and then we are going to go into this wet n wild palette that I got geez a long time ago I don't have the name on it uh, but we're just going to go into this color, which is like a bronzy kind of sheen color. And you're going to go in with a extremely fluffy brush. And you're just going to pack, uh, you're just going to put that on your crease and just blend for days. Blending, blending, blending. a little bit more okie dokie like so and then you're going to take more of a precision crease brush and you're going to go into this Fergie Wet n Wild Desert collection and you're going to go into this orangey color right here and kind of pack that on your crease like so and now since we've kind of put more stuff on that uh on top of that yellow we're going to go back into the wet n wild palette and use the yellow to brighten that yellow back up and then we're also going to go into the love palette where did it go there it is <laughs> 
with the flat shader brush into that gold. And you're just going to pack that back on. You don't want to lose that yellow color. You want to accent your crease, but you don't want to lose that yellow color. Okay, like so. And now it becomes really, 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 really simple. Um, there's not much to her eyes. Um, in, in, in general, she doesn't have, like if you look, she doesn't have anything underneath her eyelid, um, uh, any kind of um, eyeliner on her eyelid. So we're just going to use the um, uh, eyeliner, any kind of liquid eyeliner you have. And we're just going to make a very small wing. Something not crazy. See? Something not totally crazy. And what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, that goldish color. Ah! I cannot do anything today. <laughs> we're going to use that goldish color and go underneath our eye. If you did not just get something in your eye. <sighs> okay. And now we're going to use a little bit of eyeliner. And just go in the back corner. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to do this really fun kind of thing. Um, I have these little gemstones here. Um, I just got adhesive gemstones. Um, I found them at Walmart, so you're just going to take three of them and not lose any of them. <laughs> and you're going to take them and put them right on the edge of your eye. Like so. Like so. Pretty simple. Pretty done. Uh, now, uh, with the rest of your face, what you're going to do is I'm going to use my 110 uh, Matte Poreless Foundation. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me, of course.
like so. And then you're also going to take some powder. I'm using my L'Oreal Mercier set, uh, setting powder, the loose powder. Just go ahead and set that foundation. Okie dokie. Now we're going to use our bronzer. And I'm using the NYC Smoothing and my crown brush angled. She has a really simple face, so nothing too extravagant. I'm not even going to try to bronze that much because she has a really simple face. And then I'm also going to go into my Maybelline Fit Me blush in light pink with a textured brush from Sony Kashuk. Okay, and now for the lips, what I'm just going to use, I'm going to use my uh, Just Bit and Kissable uh, Revlon in Lovesick, and I'm just going to kind of outline my lips with it. You'll see why I did only half my face. It's going to look kind of funny right now, but that's what we're going to go with. So, this is the bell side. And it's, it's really simple. Really simple. You do your hair. Um, you can even put it in like a braid um, and wear a blue dress or wear a yellow dress um it's it's really simple this is like her entire look for the movie even when she's the peasant girl and then when she becomes beauty this is her entire look so nothing really different about it so i will be back to show you the evil side of my face okay so now here we go on the evil side of my face and Taylor's in the background watching TV because she woke up in the middle of my video. So now we're going to do the Mal look. So that's the eye look. And that's who Mal looks like, if you don't know already. But anyway, so we're going to go in and do the pretty much the same thing. Use the NYX to create a base. And then we're going to go into a little different of a palette, but kind of the same kind of thing. Uh, floral values for I'm Wet and Wild. And we're going to go in with this extremely hot pink color right here. And using the spongy brush, because you want to pack that color on. And you're going to focus this on the inner corner um, because you're going to put a color on the outside. So you're going to focus this like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a fluffy brush and go into this. Um, actually, no, we're going to use a precision brush. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, my Lord today. I don't know why I tried to film this this morning. Apparently my brain does not want to think this morning. But anyway, we're going to keep going. So flat shader brush and into this purple color. Mini. 
<laughs> and you're going to pack that purple color on the outer corner. Muska, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's all I hear all day, ladies. <laughs> like so. And then you're going to go into that pink again just to kind of blend it together. Like that. There we go. So you don't have like a harsh line. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into, where was it? We're going to go into the love palette and we're going to go into this middle pink color right here with a fluffy shader brush. And you're just going to put that to kind of blend these two colors together. Like so, and there has been fallout. <laughs> that purple created some fallout. Okay, anyway, now we are going to take a angled brush and go into this green from the Love palette, and we're gonna put that on our lower lash line. And you're going to pack this color on well because you want it to be very noticeable. Like so. Okay. And now we're just going to take our liquid liner again and create just the kind of almost the same wing. She doesn't have much of a wing. like so. And then we're going to take the liner that comes with it and just do the outer corner. Like so. Okay. That's pretty much the eye look. She doesn't have too much of a ridiculous um, because her outfit is ridiculous, so that would be the reason why. And now we're just going to go in and finish pretty much the same look. So we're going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. like so and then you're going to take the same uh, loose powder which is the L'Oreal Mercier okay the same bronzer NYC smoothing and sunny Okay, but now we're not going to use the pink pretty lip. We're going to use a dark, nasty lip. <laughs> I don't know why it's so nasty. But we're going to use the one that came in my Ipsy bag, the Noah 
and it's a purpley plum color. We're going to go in there. totally cool. Having two different lip colors, two different face, I probably look crazy right now, but we're going to go with it. So this is the pretty side. And this is the dark side. And then what you would do normally, um, I don't really have like a dark, dark blush, but I would really want to like pair this with almost like a purpley blush. Um, can't, yeah, it's not gonna work too well for me. Um, I could use just my Hot Mama right now, um, but I would pair it, I would pair it with a, with a uh, purpley blush. Okay, got an idea. Using, going back into this art in the streets, I'm gonna use this purple right here. Perfect. I'm gonna use this, this matte purple right here. There you go. So now you can kind of see. So pretty dark. <laughs> All right. And I hope you ladies enjoyed the video. It was super, super fun to make. Um, the collab with Stacy has been so much fun. Her look, uh, her Alice look is flipping amazing, ladies. She already looks like Alice. So for her to she just looks amazing so anyway i hope you ladies enjoyed my crazy halloween uh good and bad side and i will see you guys in my next videos i have my october favorites coming up and my walmart box coming up so look out for those bye